Oh, wow. Wow. I'm just going to sit here for a second. Before I say anything, first let me drink my tea. Only honey, no sugar. Before I get into how I feel about this show, I want to just go over a few cast members that blew me away. Yes, I have to look on my phone. I'm not familiar with a lot of names on there. Austin Butler. Who played Elvis Presley. That dude straight killed that role. He had the mannerisms down. He had the dancing down. He had the voice down. The acting top notch. My opinion. A lot of people is probably going to be against his acting. Especially the, you know, the true, true diehard Elvis friends out there. Tom Hanks, who played Tom Parker. What else can you say about Tom Hanks? He's one of the best to ever do it. He transformed himself as again for a major role, and he just killed it. And I'm going to talk about that dude in a second. Uh, I believe you pronounce his name Decree, Decree Montgomery I was shocked to see him on there Because all I kept thinking about is the lifeguard From Stranger Things He's a Very skilled actor I didn't know he had range like that Very skilled Very good dramatic actor He played the shit out of that role These are the people I'm just You know I'm not talking about every single person That was in the movie uh, Alton Mason, who played Little Richard. I believe that's how you pronounce his name, Alton. Killed that as well. And if that if that was him singing, woo, woo, blown away. Uh, let me see. Kelvin Harrison Jr., who played B.B. King. I don't know a lot about B.B. King. I mean, I heard uh, a few of his songs. I've seen him in several shows growing up. One of uh, the favorite shows that I've seen him in was The Cosby Show. He started in one particular episode on The Cosby Show, and it blew me away. But like I said, I know a lot of his music growing up, listening to my family, my father and dad, you know, mom's side. Yeah, very talented. That guy killed that role. Sam Phillips. Played by uh, Josh uh, Maconville, Maconville, something. I can't pronounce his last name. But he killed it. Uh, and that's pretty much it as far as the main people that I like in the movie. And that should ju they just blew me away by their performances. All right, let's get to this Elvis movie. <sighs> People were right to say you're going to learn a lot about Elvis life in this movie. And I don't know if everything is true cuz you know how Hollywood Hollywood is, they always got to add shit to make the movie better so people can, you know, actually watch it to get the views that they want. Uh, hoping for but if this shit was true that man had a hard life you know when you think of Elvis you think of the flashy clothes you know the hair the dancing Graceland and things like that you think of just having this fantastic beautiful fun life but behind closed doors it was nothing like that I could not believe his family, for one thing, especially his fucking dad, how he will portray... I'm not going to give away too much, 
but he did portray Elvis in a way that's Unf you know, unforgivable. There's no way I'd better forgive my dad. God rest his soul if he was still here, if he did that shit. No way. It'd be a done deal for you, Pops. His mom, lovely lady, she just wanted nothing but the best for Elvis. But you know, he's a guy, so he's gonna, you know, go his own way. But his love for his mom is unconditional. You can feel the pain. Something happens in the movie that I'm not going to give away, but it's sad. It's, it's emotionally damaging. It got to me, had a tear come on my eye, for real, it did. And, you know, I love the fact how they did, they showed glimpses of uh, Martin Luther King, JFK, you know, things that happened to them, how they, you know, what was going on at, at that time. And you can see the concern on Elvis' face, how he felt about it. And I just like that they went that direction, that they put that in the movies, because that's an important piece of history. Very important piece of history. And Tom Hanks, the manager. I can go on and on and on about Tom Hanks' portrayal of Elvis' manager in this movie. If you never seen Tom Hanks in a movie before, if you never heard of him, you will probably hate Tom Hanks. That's how much... I wanted to break my goddamn TV screen watching Tom Hanks, listening to Tom Hanks play that role, play that character. Because the the grip he had on Elvis, it's like he was in control of Elvis' life. He knew the right words to say at that right time to get to Elvis. It's a lot that goes on in this movie when it comes to Tom Hanks, the things that he wants. You know, it was confusing me and my girl for real because we was watching it. And I was like, okay, is this guy good or is he bad? Like, which way is this? Is he a backstabber or is he really there for Elvis? Like, you don't know. Because there are times where he's so compassionate and then there are times where he's such a fucking asshole. The way women would throw themselves at Elvis because he would move. And, you know, I don't know if a kid should watch this. Well, you have to probably turn your kid away on certain scenes because, you know, it shows, you know, the camera's pointed directly at Elvis, you know what, and it showed the women going crazy when he moves around and shit and he shakes, he wiggles. And that, that shit was, if that was really happening women fainting all because he do the wiggle that's that's just crazy to me for real it's just a dance but this movie was fun you know Elvis growing up around black children gave him that that inner soul like that soul to you know how they always say black people have soul which I don't grow I think everyone has soul it depends on how you are how you grew up no matter what skin color you are, we all have soul. If you want to have soul, if you want to be the one that can move around, that got swag, you know, that that can dance, that can get the attention of a room. And Elvis had that. You know, I didn't know nothing about him, like going to an all black church, things like that. Uh, all that just really amazed me and Elvis was truly the man. He was truly the man. It's just so sad what he went through. It, it is. It is sad. He did not have this great life like we all thought. You know, everyone's, you know, I'm pretty sure everyone's familiar with him going to the military because he was actually in a way forced. 
I ain't gonna give away too much if you don't know that part about Elvis' life, but you will see it in the movie. It, they just so, so much. But the dancing and singing, dude killed it. I don't know if that's his voice, whatever. I'm pretty sure they threw some of uh, Elvis' voice up in there, you know, but dude killed it. I absolutely enjoyed this movie and I will be watching it again. So hit me up, y'all. Definitely hit me up and let me know what y'all think of the Elvis movie. Did you enjoy it? What was your favorite parts? Who was your favorite character? Did you really truly believe that that was Elvis? Watching this young man portray Elvis, did you truly see Elvis or did you see that guy who was portraying Elvis? I seen Elvis. So please hit me up, y'all. I'm looking forward to seeing y'all comments. I know it can be negative, positive. I don't care. I love all comments. And y'all already know what we do. Remember, we doing this shit worldwide. It's your boy RDS. You know how we do. Until next time, peace, love, and deuces.